Hey travelers, Mag, I, and Skeletor 10 here on day 100 in Snowy 2 of our trip around the United States. We woke up this morning, popped open the window at the hotel, and saw a sight that both of us, coming out of Florida, had feared to see, had feared to see snow. And not just snow flurry, but a full on dashing of snow. But we're here. We're here at Geocache, and we're going to make it happen. Today's route, our very aggressive route, has us covering 417 miles between Dalahart and Lubbock. We cannot proceed very quickly in this weather, so the normal 75 miles an hour of Texas roads, those are out. We'll be lucky if we're hitting 50-ish as we move down south. With a little luck, once we hit near Vega, we'll be getting out of this white stuff and beginning to road conditions that we can begin to move a little bit more quickly. One way or the other, we are going to be making it to the end of our day. But we both know that it is going to be a late day. We are going to be running slowly and we're going to be running behind schedule all day long, but we will be finishing at some point, hopefully before midnight in Lubbock. Don't know how long it's going to take us, but I do know we have a lot of really fun geocache targets on the list, beginning right here in Dalhart. So we're going to give you a little tour around this snowed out town, go find some of these fun geocaches, and then get on the road. And I hope it's going to be a great day. And I know we're going to be having a lot of fun because we've already been laughing maniacally all morning long. So come on, let's go see what it has in store. Let's go, come on. The first task of the day was clearing off the mound of snow that had accumulated on the car. After that, we were ready for a slow, steady drive through the city of Dalhart, named for its locations along the Dallam and Hartley County borders. Our first stop in the city was the Veterans Memorial Park, right in the heart of downtown. Ai Chun could not, for the life of her, understand what had happened to the ground under her feet. Where had all the grass gone? We made fresh tracks in the snow, clearly the first ones to visit this beautiful park this morning. The Veterans Memorial within this park dedicated on September 11th of 2004, consists of a column-framed entrance surrounded by eight large marble columns, each bearing the names of service members who have given their lives. The columns also bear thumbnail stories of the wars Americans have fought in from the Civil War through Somalia. Although none of us were particularly excited about geocaching in the snow, a weather condition that we actively try to avoid, we have to admit it made for some beautiful driving and some beautiful geocaching. Although we have geocached in a ton of cemeteries over the last few days, with the snow covering the ground, it was like we were visiting a kind of place that we had never been before. Well, so much for my grand plan to avoid the snow. I kind of didn't think I'd hit this until at least January, not early December. But it is what it is, and we're gonna make through, and we're gonna keep trudging through this white powdery stuff. We're gonna figure it out. One cold, snowy geocache at a time. Making our way steadily south out of Delhart, we found our way into the city of Vega with a population of around a thousand people. The thing that immediately jumped out to us about this small town is that it features an abundance of murals. It seems that no matter which way you turn in this town, you will be seeing reminders that this was a historic stop along Route 66. As the county seat of Oldham County, it also presented us with a very welcome opportunity to tour the area around the courthouse. It is entirely possible that we spent more time touring the murals and the courthouse building than we actually did tracking down all of the geocaches located within town. And while we may not have made as many finds as we would have liked in the snow this morning, most of the finds we made were a lot of fun. Wah, 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 wah. Oh no! This is a really cool looking geocache that appears to have been muggled. We're gonna drop a fresh log book in here, maybe a little bit of slag, but ah, it's gonna be that kind of day, isn't it? It absolutely is. Okay. Being good stewards again, I want to mention this time we had no part in breaking this cache or resulting in it being empty. This was somebody else, but we're still gonna do the right thing. It's a really good geocache. We like what's going on here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this replacement container, add it there on the host, seal this bad boy up to the next finder. And you know what? Chances are it will be frozen solid and unopenable by the time they get here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kind of, kind of, got a little tension here. That not seem to be doing nothing. But that looks like we got to move. Oh, 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 we got motion. There we go. Ooh, that's clever. I like this. Pretty cool. 
I was recording while we figured it out. I'm gonna find that okay. one. Yep, there we go. There we go. Coming down the line. Oh yeah, I like that. This is cool. It's got a little snow on it. Some good geocaches this morning, that's for sure. As we had found in Dalhart, touring around Vega in the snow presented an entirely different landscape than we would have gotten otherwise. All of the statues outside of the Milburn Price Culture Museum would have felt right in place in the desert landscape, but felt somehow wrong covered in snow. Hank looked none too happy about the weather conditions here. You know, if you'd ask me, I'd say Hank the Ankylosaurus is learning what extinction looks like today. And then we happen to stumble upon a rather large and a rather unexpected surprise here. And yes, while unexpected, it is always very welcome to visit a world's largest, including the world's largest branding iron. Our last stop in town before hitting the road once again was the Oldham County Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. This outdoor museum is free to the public and features a display of antique farm and ranch equipment. Walking around, you can look through both horse-drawn and early motorized equipment, restored tractors, a 1929 threshing machine, and brands from early and current days of ranching. Through dust bowls and years of usage in harsh weather conditions, this equipment has stood the test of time. As has the geocache hidden amongst one of these tractors undercover. But which one could it be? We did it! We made it out of the snow line. We are officially back in business. Look at this. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We have found that no matter which counties we travel through in the Panhandle, we cannot resist geocaches that feature the arrows. Coming into Hereford, we were lucky enough to pursue a multi that had us visit not one, but two of the arrow statues. And then it was a short hop down the road to Friona, the cheeseburger capital of Texas, to pursue another multi for another arrow. As we had done in Dalhart and Vega, we enjoyed a tour around the downtown area, checking out the murals and statues it had to offer. And we enjoyed it even more because we were able to do so without having to tromp through the snow. Skeletor 10 was more than accommodated, as he has been on most of this trip, waiting patiently while I toured around the downtown area before we got started on the multi we had come for. Surprisingly, I found the geocache container hidden near this church in record time, but he failed to notice. Somehow I managed to make this find and sign the log in front of Skeletor 10 and roll it back up in the cache container. He still hasn't noticed that I'm done with this thing. I'm just waiting for him to key in and see that I'm all done with the geocache and we're ready to rock and roll out of here. He's gonna look up any moment and be like, oh, you suck. Wait for it. Why are you still hanging out? Wait for it. Look at you. We had it. <laughs> One type of stop that we have always both enjoyed throughout the years are county courthouses. Pouring through the small towns in the panhandle of Texas, there are no lack of courthouses to keep us both entertained. They provide a great opportunity to take in the sights and check out the Veterans Memorial before we get back on the road to finding more geocaches. Even though at least one of the ones we found today had us questioning whether or not we should actually put our hands on it. Eww, gross. As far as I'm concerned, this is the find of the day. All day long, we've been having these solo on site. Skeletor 10. That's why I look where my geosenses had me. And each time, I was really close, but I still didn't make the find before he saw the camera. Today, no, I went straight to it. He didn't even make it to the post coordinates before I was calling out. I had the find. Yes! <laughs> Reaching the city of Dimmit, the county seat of Castro County, we were presented with yet another opportunity to tour a county courthouse building. Scattered about the lawn, you can find an assortment of interesting pieces. This also gave us a chance to check out still yet another arrow as we make our way steadily through the panhandle. And just like that, another day of geocaching at Skeletor 10 draws to an end. We reach the city of Tulia under the setting sun. All right. That brings a wrap to our third day out here on the road with Skeletor 10. And it was one heck of a day and one heck of a cold day out here. We started the morning off in Dalhart, opened up our window and saw that snow blowing 
like us Floridians have never seen before. Nobody was happy about the site in front of us. We assessed the situation and decided that we're doing this one way or another. We got the motivation, we got our way out of the hotel room, and we actually had a pretty good time in that snow-filled city. After we got through Vega and got the tour through the town, we continued on our way south and the snow steadily got less and less and less until it disappeared from sight altogether. The weather never once warmed up. It is just as cold now as it started off this morning, but at least we are not dealing with the white fluffy stuff, which makes the driving a lot easier and faster for us. We are only a couple of counties shy of finishing out our day right now. We've run out of sunlight here in Tulia, and we're gonna keep pushing until we reach the end of our target list for the day. All right, it is too much out here for Skeletor 10 to keep standing around. He is freezing his tush off right now. So we've gotta get another cash find and then get back in the warm car. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. Like this video, subscribe to stay tuned for daily updates, and we'll see you out on the trail.